Okay, here's some real life. We have Buddy here who um, would normally chase the goats. This is on Johnny's own uh, farm, his own, his own steadings here that he has. And uh, this is his own dog, Buddy, who's got a couple of uh, heart attacks under his belt. And uh, we're now absolutely just sorting that behaviour. So we've taken the time and the dog has already been taught the remote collar. And now we're just increasing the distance, duration and distraction. You wouldn't have been able to do this before. Definitely would have been chasing them. Um, but now we're seeing how the dog is a detached from him psych uh, physically, but attached to him psychologically. That's so important. This is real life. So we're just creating challenges. We're balanced training. You can definitely actually create challenges and change behavior. Nice. Boom. Yes, good job. Well done. This keeps everything safe. Especially when we have uh, goats, we've got horses, we've got cows chickens everything and they want to keep the rottweiler so and the dog gets how many acres you got you like tw 30 acres you know you want to have your dog have the freedom yeah. but really under control see how like you become like proud of him do you know what i mean you're like oh look how well you're doing pal and just so you know he's working on a mini educator right now at level nine which is really good but it's because we did teach the collar first, which is so important. We're jumping between escape and avoidance here, which is sometimes pressure is on first from the e-collar, low level pressure, then a vocal command. And sometimes, there we go, good job. And sometimes it's um, avoidance, which is you'll give a verbal command, doesn't listen, gets the, gets the e-collar. So the dog can learn to avoid the pressure of the e-collar by listening to the verbal command. Two important steps when you're teaching remote collar training. Escape and avoidance. This is real life. Buddy, you're doing awesome, pal. Very good. Oh, here we go. Yeah, yes, good job. Makes everything safe, secure. People go, oh, just never let them in with the goats, blah, blah, blah. But what that one day the gate's left open. This just absolutely changes behavior because you'd have a lot of people that would say, you know, never let that Rottweiler near goats. Just yeah. just avoid it. Just yeah. don't let them near these things. And you're like, but then they're never actually changing behavior or never keeping things safe. What if that gate's left open yeah, by exactly. accident one day? Or, you know what I mean? That's real life. That can happen. Or you could actually just change the behaviour of the dog. Good job. And then you don't have an issue. Yeah. Which is what we're doing here. Well done, bud. And so he's totally in tune with dad. That's really good. And that's the that's the challenge right there. See them running? Running, he would be boom right in there about that. Chasing them, herding them. He doesn't necessarily like grab them and maul them or anything like that. Of, of course, you leave him up to his own devices. It would probably lead to that. Um, but he loves the chase and then that can that causes heart attacks and threats and then just the owner feeling that you're you know it's, it's it's also you feeling like oh i just wasn't i didn't feel in control yeah that's what the part that gets you as well you know whereas here the collar just really people use remote collars call it their seat belt you know it's just like it allows you to remain in control yeah. keeps things safe good job Awesome. Hey, you did. And you, and you, and you, and you. <laughs> there he is. There's the big top. Look, you're missing the run. You're missing the run, bud. You're missing the run. Well done. Excellent. Goes toward dad instead of going towards the goats, which is brilliant. Yeah. Awesome. Nice. Well done.